explain what it is. This is like you call it the Chuck E. Cheese of the future. Yes, maybe more like Willy Wonka if you <laughs> if you envision it. I think right now we have uh, modern children who are technology is such a part of their lives. Parents are hungry, literally hungry, for experiences to have with their children that introduce tech in fun, creative, smart ways. And so I'm really excited to re envision what family dinner and dining looks like for this modern child mm -hmm. with 3D printing and all kinds of yeah, wild and 3D things. 3D printing, how, how does this work? You walk in, you sit down at, at the table, and yeah. you get to do well, what? Well, that's the thing. We're re envisioning the entire dining concept. So you don't just walk in and sit down at a table. At Sue's Tech Kitchen, there's all kinds of immersive experiences that you can do. It's really, we're re envisioning the way that you would sit at a table, who prepares the food, how it's made, and um, we're hoping to you know, bring technology in a way that's fun and delightful and energizing rather than kind of force kids and families to come to the tech to learn Tricking about it. Tricking kids into doing this in other words. <laughs> like they're doing it and they don't even realize they're That's right. We have a station it. where we're actually going to teach kids how to code with candy in a way that they don't even know they're learning how to code. It's Nobody fun. It's something they want to do. Yeah, right. I uh, don't code. Uh, candy. Yeah. yeah, but you could come to Sue's Tech Kitchen and learn how to code without even knowing you're learning. So fixated on the 3D printing of desserts yes. and, and the potential that I could create there. Like, you could create anything. We have so much fun in our office. I feel like we're mad scientists planning everything with Sue's Tech Kitchen. The other day we were we printed a hummus and crudite platter. No, on, no, yes, no, did. that's a waste. I was actually talking about a caramel sundae. <laughs> uh, what did you, a, a hummus and what? Yes, but at Sue's Tech Kitchen Credit we're going to be uh, 3D printing on the kind of the more yummy, delicious side, and uh, children are going to get to customize what comes out of the 3D printer, watch it in action, and um, hopefully, I mean, the sky's the limit. This is just a, a pop-up beta test. But you know, as we tour around the nation with Sue's Tech Kitchen, I think the you sold that. Are more you sold that instantaneously. Yes, when you put we this out. Uh, we put out kind of one small press release and sold out within hours. So we're frantically working on ways to add new reservations and expand. Uh, we want to get as many families in the door as possible. Now, I asked you in the commercial break how long it would be before I could take my family, <laughs> and your point is it's going to be a while because you're not starting in places like New York City or Silicon Valley. Why is that? That's right. One of my big passions is bridging the digital divide. I think we live in an interesting time in this country as we're seeing where there's brain drain from cities, you're seeing uh, there's a huge gap. Companies can't even fill engineering jobs that are sitting open. And one of the ways that we can do that is by bringing technology to cities around the country that want to become innovation hubs and are really working hard at it but don't have that access to tech and STEM just yet. So that's why I love Chattanooga as our first stop on the tour, even though I live here in Manhattan and spent time in Silicon Valley. It's a city that is a startup in itself, trying to reinvent itself as an innovation tech hub. And so for once in their lives, Manhattan and Silicon Valley will have to wait to get something innovative. We, we have a rule in my house, which is no cell phones at the table. Mm, How great, does this great work? Point. How does this work along yes. with that? Because we want people to talk to each other. And only when there's a point of information <laughs> do the kids get the kids. They're I think so. The, older I'm, teenagers now, but do the kids get permission to use their phones? I'm so glad you raised that because I think right now we have this push and pull relationship with technology where tech, right now, it brings you away from your family and right. the things you love, it right. comes in between. Um, and again, at Sue's Tech Kitchen, we're trying to re envision that. Phones aren't crucial to the experience of going through Sue's Good. Tech Kitchen, but if you want to have your phone with you, we've actually designed an experience where your phone becomes part of the lights and the design of the room so that it kind of brings you deeper into the experience rather than putting up that barrier. But I agree, we're trying to figure out, I mean, phones are, are part of our lives and tech is part of our lives. How do we introduce it in a way that's joyful and brings people together rather than have that Good. antagonistic relationship? Randy, can we ask you just about the, the culture in Silicon Valley? It's yep. been something we've talked about so frequently because of the situation with Uber and, yes. and other issues that have been happening there. You spent time working there. I did. I spent almost a decade in Silicon Valley. And um, it's, you know, it, it, it can be a difficult place to be a woman at times, for sure. That's one of the reasons why in Zuckerberg Media, in this next chapter of my career, I'm so focused on bringing tech to, uh, to young girls and to families because I think this is not a problem that is gonna be solved inside Silicon Valley right now. Um, 
girls are opting out of technology by third and fourth grade. So if you're going to change what Silicon Valley looks like in the culture there in 20 years, you have to start now with things like Sue's Tech Kitchen and with my show Dot that's on air. So that's why on I'm Sprout, right? sitting yes yeah. on on, uh, on Universal Kids Sprout and. Uh, that's why I'm so focused on children's content and bringing tech in delightful ways so this next generation of girls doesn't opt out of technology. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.